welcome back to Riding with Ree with me and Ted. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get your horse fit for the summer using interval training. Interval training might sound really complicated and technical, but trust me, if you have a horse you can comfortably walk, trot, canter and gallop on, and you have a space in which you can canter, you can do interval training. I'm going to be using the space behind me, but you can also do this in a school or a smaller paddock. I'm going to head back up to the yard in just a moment, pop on my hat, my back protector and my GoPro, and I'll meet you there. If you enjoyed today's video, do give it a thumbs up, leave me any questions or comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Ted is my first horse chef, so I'm sharing all of my tips and tricks along the way, as well as tips for new riders and owners. Worth noting that before I got on Ted today, I did 10 minutes walking around with his tack on. Not every horse needs that, it's just what makes Ted happy, but I would recommend doing at least a 10 minute warm up in walk before you do any interval training. I'm using a Fitbit to time at my intervals today, something that I can check in on to make sure that I've done the amount of time in canter and walk, um, but you can use any timer, it doesn't really matter. This is the first time I'm actually timing my intervals. I've done lots of work where I go into trot and then I come back to walk and then I go into canter and then I come back to walk. But this is the first time I'm actually timing it. So I'm starting with something simple and just doing a minute in canter, 30 seconds in walk, and then repeating that twice on both reins. With my first canter, I'm keeping an eye on my watch a lot because I'm not really sure how long a minute canter is, but I soon realized that for me, it's about an L shape of this field. And that means that when I change the reins to do my canter on the other side, I'm not having to look at my watch as much because I know about the distance. And with this first canter, I'm just seeing how he's feeling. Is he fresh? Is he stiff? Just checking in with him and also trying to keep it at a steady pace. You don't need this to be super, super, super fast. It can just be a nice steady canter, have a seat off their back and keep the pace the same all the way around if you can. If you can find a hill to do this, so much the better. And just as we're going into our first walk, it's a great opportunity to check in with your horse. Are they puffing a lot? Are they finding it quite difficult? Are they raring to go? If it's your first time doing interval training, as it is with me, timed interval training, then um, it's important to check in and see how your horse is feeling. Ted is feeling really good on this day. He's raring to go as always, but I'm wary of putting too much strain on his legs in canter, especially as we haven't had any rain for a little while. So I'm gonna keep it to just a minute in canter on both reins twice, as was my original plan. So into my second canter I have turned around and I'm heading back towards home and towards a spot that some horses gallop up if you are doing the same thing you might find that like Ted your horse starts speeding up make sure you check them and bring them back like I said we want a nice steady canter I don't want him galloping off that is not the point of the exercise so check in with your horse keep bringing them back they might be more comfortable on one rein than the other so see how they're feeling but yes steady pace that means you Ted into our second 30 second walk break and then for my third canter I'm actually going to stay on this rein so that when I go into my fourth canter I can finish around the top end of the straw field and use that 10 minute walk back from the top as my cool down. Into our third and final 30 second walk break after this we'll have our final canter and then we'll have our 10 minute cool down which would replace our fourth 30 second walk break and honestly Ted is looking very alert and excited clearly I need to up these canter intervals next time. So heading into our final canter, I took the opportunity to take Ted on a different part of grass just to keep him thinking and keeping that pace the same all the time. Instead of your 30 second walk after this, you're instead gonna have your cool down. I actually took the opportunity to walk Ted around the entirety of this field, including the spots where we'd cantered today and spots where we've galloped previously, all in walk, just to practice that we don't always canter in the same spots and we don't have one particular gallop spot and it's just good manners. It's also a really nice way to cool your horse down. So if you're able to cool down for a little while, I would do it for at least 10 minutes. That's just my preference, but I think it's important if you've been cantering quite a bit. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions or comments below and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. And I say